the scene clean, nigga, no flaws, no witness, co-engine. As I proceed to gripping wood, wheel, and corner bending. Now it's the last sentence, last word of your ending. No pretending, I don't fabricate or fantasize. Before I execute, I meditate and strategize. Sing your mama roses, hold the pain of passerby. I get the bread, that's the only way I'm pacified. Carolina born from a Carolina breed. Welcome to Carolina where them boys stack cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on, man? It's your boy, Y'all the Dollar, coming to y'all from the Sweet Podcast Studios, man. I got my boy, Sog, with me today. Yes, sir. What's that? Yeah, shout out to Lee. You know, she uh, over there in uh, L.A. having a ball. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. She's going to be back soon. All that good stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we're talking Man, about. I got my dog, Marcus. What's going on, good people? Thanks. What it is, BTGA. Huh? Let them know what it is, Bank. Yeah, man. My name is Marcus Banks, uh, founder, CEO of uh, Battle Test of God Approved. Uh, uh, it's a clothing line, but it's going to be some different branches to it. But for now, I'm trying to bring some new funky stuff to the to the game as far as clothing apparel. And just be on the lookout, man. Like, we trying to put everybody on, man. So come out, support. You know what I mean, man? It just... 2020, man, so we got to have that 2020 vision, man, so, it is. you know, right. like I said, right. man, like, yeah, yeah, you know, we trying to do some big things with it. So I'm saying, like, how you came out with, like, you know what I'm saying, the clothing line, what, what gave you the idea to want to do a clothing line? Well, being honest with you, it didn't even start off as a clothing line at first. Okay. It was almost like, you know, the way that I started living, man, like, going through some things in my life. It's a time in my life, man, where, you know, I ended up, like, losing my house, Pretty much lost my family, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just got in this dark place where, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? You, you know, down. we all, yeah, you we down, all been through. And I hear yeah. a lot. That's kinda, you know? It's kind of uh, dope that you're willing to share that with us because um, when you think about it, man, it's like PTSD, veterans, anybody out here that's dealing with depression, yep, you know what yep. I mean? Or dealing with that dark space like yep, we were just yep, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's important that you um, understand everybody go through that. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. You just can't let that hold you down. Yeah. So I, I commend you, bro. You yeah. know what I mean? Even even being able to bring this uh this, this oh, yeah, line to the mix right yeah. here, man. Yeah. Finish yeah. 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 talking yeah. about it, man. What, yeah, are, what all you got? I see you got the fit. I mean, we got, got I mean, I just bought out, man. Like, I came back and just hit the game with a nice jogging suit or whatever the case may be, sweatsuit. Gotcha. Um, you know, I actually launched about two years ago. Mm -hmm. Um and it was most like a t-shirt line. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, it was based more towards like the women, really. Because mm -hmm. of course we know, women right. buy more clothes. Talk, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, they closet always bigger. <laughs> yeah, you know exactly. Yeah. But yeah, so right, right, right. I kind of targeted them or whatever the case may be. But I end up, man, my margins wasn't as good. You know, I wanted to get the word out, but got to have margins. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's important because uh, yeah. with this podcast right here, specifically, I wanted to talk about not only rap, but the entrepreneurial side of things and how right. people fall down yeah. and then get back yeah. up. Mm -hmm. And then also, what's behind the shine? You dig what I'm saying? Like, Work. the reason why I asked Morgan to be on the podcast is because I seen how big of a splash he had on Facebook when he dropped a sweatsuit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I was yeah. like, well, hey, man, I got to get this my dog on the show. But then on top of that, after talking with him, I seen it wasn't just no... Man, I went and bought some black sweats and yeah, then I went and got my logo on the yeah, front. Man, yeah, yeah, people yeah, just yeah, booming. Yeah, it's bigger than that. Yeah, it's bigger than that. Time, yeah. I want you to brush on yeah. a, a little bit of that part of the thing so people yeah. understand you got to have a business mindset about exactly, yourself. Exactly, exactly. But, you know, really, like I said, man, bro, it really just started off with the message. Um, just a bad place in my life, man, where I was just going through a whole lot. Like I said, going back. Losing my family to a certain extent, mm -hmm. you know, losing house, you know, man, you know, I ain't scared to say that, bro, because I mean, the struggle is yeah, what it is. Everybody. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to hit bottom to come up, you know what I'm saying? And that's the battle okay. tested part. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, exactly. that's why the message is what it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 So, so the way I look at it, man, is like, you know, it just came to me one day, man, just in a dark place, and, you know, I just think it was a gift through God that He gave it to me. Yeah. And it was what I needed to to have to actually like pick myself back up so it's not really just a a, a, a logo or a brand i guess it's more like a mantra too pretty like much. your mantra you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah like you know what i mean my yeah. pretty 
pretty much way of life. I mean, being honest with you, I I really feel like even if people don't say it, yeah, you know, we all are about to test the God. Right, right. Well, you're right. And that's yeah. real. We had a conversation the other yeah. day. I yeah. said said something. You said something that stood out. It don't matter if you. Islam, it don't matter if you're a Jew, it don't right. matter if right. you're a Christian, it don't right. matter if you even on some black magic voodoo shit from Africa. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right, right. Everybody got a God. God. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when we say battle tested God yeah. approved, yeah. real talk. Like I feel like that's a that's a huge that's a yeah. huge thing right there. Exactly, man. You know, and, and the way I feel, I think everybody can relate to it. You right. know what I mean? Like, and I feel you. Everybody can relate to that. You know, even if you're in church every day, yeah. even if you're not in church every day, yeah. and if everybody can go through struggle. Or everybody has gone through struggle, I should say. But see, I respect yeah. the fact that, like I said, you know, it's not just a brand. Like I said, it's, it's yeah. a mantra. So it's you kind of using that to like. I'm not necessarily just wanting you to wear that on your chest. I want you to wear that in your heart. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? To build yourself up. Yeah. That, you know but what I'm but the but thing is, so man, like. I respect that, though. You know the, what I'm saying? The brand actually came out when I first started. I was like, I just wanted me some t shirts. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. I was going to personally wear. Initially. You know, just w that was with him. And then it, it just kind of came to me. I was like, well, man, I'm going to see like what a little t shirt line would do. Okay. Whatever the case yeah. may be. So, like I said, I end up coming out. You know, two years ago, but it was just mostly T-shirts or whatever the case yeah. may be. And, you know, just getting started, you know, I wasn't catching the margins that I wanted. Mm -hmm. But I had a passion about it, though. Yeah. Passion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Yeah. I like, yeah. Hey, you yeah. know what? You kind of you kind of brushed over the fact that um, you say you lost the crib, and then you yeah. got, but you still got the passion for something. That yeah. Had, yeah. That you felt like was a gift from God, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Can you speak on, like... What your mindset was when you had to wake up in the morning and you knew you was about to take care of something that had to do with the clothing line? Or was that something you just every day kind of just did something oh, towards? Yeah, I mean, like I said, when I had to, you know, I came out initially, it didn't work out the way I wanted to. Mm -hmm. So I had to actually put it back on the shelf. Mm -hmm. But I felt like it was something that I was real passionate about. So being honest, man, like, you know, when I, when I eventually got back into it as far as like getting merchandise or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. The struggle before that was getting up every day trying to jot down ideas, knowing that, you know, I might not even have the money right now, but of course I got a passion about it. So Word. I'm going to bring it back out. And when I do, I want to be able to bring something out that's going to catch your attention. Don't worry. You know, Don't worry. so, you know. See, that's another thing too, though. You know what I'm saying? You took your time with it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You got it right. You got you got it. You got it right. Yeah. One thing I will yeah. say is, for what I've noticed, man, like the quality on this and everything is is great. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, it's real, real That's nice quality too. on there. You know what I'm saying? And everything like that. Yeah. So I ain't even necessarily just approving it because you a homeboy and everything like All that, right. and I've known you and everything like that, and I approve of you know like the message and everything that yeah. you bring. But honestly, man, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you look at it, man. I mean, that's, 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 that's the saying? key. Yeah. The stitching and whoever took the time to put the screen print on there, like that. Yeah, you know, yeah. there ain't no weak screen print. But even off of that, right there, brains like um, talk about what your next move probably gonna be now that you've seen you had such a big splash and what type of battery that probably put in your bag as far as like having to go a little bit harder from what yeah, you've seen. Yeah, yeah. What's coming yeah. out next? Like, I mean, being honest with you, man, like <clears throat> I've already worked on like my spring line. You know, summer line, mm -hmm. even some of the winter line coming back next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah, being yeah. honest with you, man, like, if you want it, bro, you got to be at it. And you got to work at it every day. That's you got to right. work at it hard. You got to be dedicated. Like, you got to stay, you know what I'm saying? You got to stay away. You know what I'm saying? I should say you got to stay steps ahead of the game, yeah. bro. Like, if you ain't doing something that's enhancing the business every day, even though it don't look like the business might not be going nowhere, yeah. all that counts. Yeah, that's you know real. I mean? And I mean, we, that's real. you guys can speak of that. Yeah. I mean, being, you know, owning a record label. Yeah. You yeah. know, y'all, yeah. of course. I ain't even gonna talk. You, you know? say owning a record label. <laughs> I wanna talk about his yeah. last endeavor. The man had yeah. a, a whole smoke shop about two years before exactly. the smoke wave. Well, yeah. vape shop. Yeah. Vape, vape shop, shop, you know yeah. what I yeah. mean? Yeah. So yeah. that's one of the reasons why he's sitting to my right, because. Mm -hmm. I want people around me that not only can generate an awesome idea in their brain, but yeah. can manifest it into reality. All you right. know what I mean? Like yeah. it's 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 so it's so much uh, 
things that can distract us from trying to get to our goal. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons why, and again, one of the reasons why I asked you to come on a podcast, dog, is because the splash I seen on Facebook was yeah. amazing for yeah. just like a dude dropping a clothing line. Yeah. Like it'd be different if you was Polo. It'd be different if you was yeah. Uh, like, Supreme or somebody, yeah, Nike or yeah, somebody yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. But the man dropped. <coughs> we put it on Facebook. People start going crazy. Want, man, when can I get mine? I need a two eight. I need yeah, a one eight. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. you got the oh, you got the sweatpants yeah. too. And then they see the quality and they're like, but hey, I yeah. got the fuck. Well, see, that's the one yeah. thing I noticed though. Where is he took his time and his detail into it? Like I said, he dropped it two years ago, mm -hmm. and he yeah. actually had got a splash two years ago where he was getting orders overseas. And the man was sending shirts over to like Italy and stuff. Oh, yeah. word! Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't even knew about yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, when yeah. I first came out, like I said, it 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 made enough of a splash that I knew I had some. Yeah. So you, what he you decided know, to do was yeah, yeah. package it back up. Let me let me rethink this. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Instead of just initially, like you said, you really just wanted it for shirts as yourself. You know what I'm saying? For your own mantra to just be printed yeah. up so people know what your mantra is yeah. because. Yeah. At that time, like I said, you was in a rough place. Mm -hmm. so, you know what I'm saying? So that was your way to come up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that there. So then you thought about it, though. Like, instead of me just advertising it like that, mm -hmm. why not mm -hmm. turn it into a business? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I, wanna, and I, I respect that, like I said, and everything. So, you know, I respect the fact that, like I said, now, you went from the T-shirts to this here. And, you know, we hear about your future plans and everything, yeah. man. Like yeah. I said, I'm definitely, you know. Intrigued to see what y'all coming on, you know what I'm saying? You coming up with next. Yeah, man, definitely. We're gonna bring some new funk ideas, man. Yeah. You know, different. Gonna hit you hard. I think one yeah. of the biggest compliments that I can get, uh, matter of fact, me and you, y'all, we was talking about the other day when yeah. it was just like the first time you touched it, you mm -hmm. were like, bro, this is better than I thought it would be. Yeah. And for most people, you know, you might yeah. take that as an insult, but for me, it was like, that's the reaction I want because I want people to understand. I understand like me being a you gonna get down nobody. You gonna get down much coming in. Yeah. They, they they thinking like oh it's gonna be just a With some yeah, half ass thing, man up bought some hoodies from yeah exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But no, you know, that's, I mean, <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's not what we doing. Exactly. You know, like I said, man, we bringing we bringing big quality to the game. Um, no, no. and you know, like I said, man, I just want I want folk to come out support. You know, and it ain't just about supporting me. You know what I mean? It's about supporting every black owned business or whatever that's out there. I think that's real important. That's you know real. what I mean? Even watching, you know, this podcast, I mean I, I put it to you like this and you know, I'll let you take over y'all to that. Man, look, if if as a community yeah. we actually went out and, and supported stuff like we did when Popeyes had their chicken sandwich. Oh my god. Bro, think about that. Yeah. You know, we put that much effort into supporting each other. You know, bro. Real talk. You, you know, you hit the nail on the head because that Popeye you know. chicken sandwich is something that <laughs> was like a phenomenon yeah, that yeah. that really concentrated black buy power. Exactly. And Smith, I'm talking yeah, about and they, not they it out of all. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. that's something right there that could uh, definitely that wealth could be spread across the exactly. black community. Exactly. And I'm not saying. Um, Reparations ain't needed by no chance. But what I am saying is, if we could take that same mindset, like you just said, for that Popeye chicken, and do yeah. that for the people who we know, trying exactly. to put for a good foot, exactly. not only for themselves but for the community. Exactly. exactly. It takes one person to kind of like start that domino effect, exactly. but it will yeah. be a domino effect. Exactly. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And somebody's gonna take that and get inspired by it. You know, you know what I'm saying? And come out with something that's gonna inspire somebody else. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And I, and I mean, like I said, man, that's a uh, a good way to look at it, man. I always say, man, the only way we're going to take over, in a sense, is by numbers. You know, man, we got to really have a, a, a support chain where we're really, like, supporting each other. Word. You know, we should always have a, a, a group to where, bro, you don't have to go outside your group to get anything. Word. You know what I mean? Like, it should all be spent because if, if not, bro, like... It's hard to try to do it on your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You know, it's hard to do it on well, your see, own. That's one of the main reasons I like when y'all asked me to come on to the show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And stuff. You know, and he explained to me what it was all about. It wasn't just a podcast. Like, nah, I want to mm -hmm. focus in on like yeah. young entrepreneurs and our culture and everything yeah, like yeah. that and stuff. Yeah, and yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just like, you know what? I like that. You know what I'm saying? I like that. You know what I'm saying? And stuff. It ain't just about you trying to get out here and be popular. 
Like mm-hmm. I, I do. Everybody wants to be popular with a podcast and everything like. But it's not just that. I want to also put on other people. Exactly. And that's you know my what I'm thing. Um, everything like that. So like I said, we can all grow as a community. Yeah. You know I feel like saying? you hit so, the nail on the head yeah. with the, like what we trying to do. I want to touch on that real fast because this podcast this is the first episode, so y'all kind of getting a a a quick view of what we plan to bring to the table yeah. as the suite. You know what I mean? This right here is way bigger than me. It's way bigger than my logo. It's way bigger than um, trying to get popular likes on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Matter of fact, um, if, if you see this right now, I want you to hit the like and subscribe on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? But the reason why is because I want you to leave a comment. If you're doing any type of entrepreneurial stuff, yeah. you know what I mean? Tap into them comments, man. Leave me a message. You can be here a week from now, two weeks from now. I don't know. But I'm trying to holler at people who are, again, not just saying they're going to do something, yeah, but actually doing, doing something. something. Yeah. That yeah, is yeah, key. Yeah. I mean, everybody say they're going to do something. Sure. Everybody say they're going to do I something. Mean, shit, you can Especially sit around in our that. age, because no, nobody wants to look stupid. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Or sound exactly. stupid. Or well, everybody wants to sound like, because they got an idea, you should respect me. You know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. Oh, no, I got an idea. I got a way for the future that's going to be good for me and everything. Mm-hmm. But it'd be the people that actually put the work in. Yeah. See, nobody wants to put the work in. Everybody that you fat, everybody say they want to get in shape. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I get but you. It's, 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 it's the person that goes to the gym. I where you going. Yeah, it's the person. Going. Once you go to the gym and yeah. actually work the fuck out, then yeah. that's when, you know what I'm saying, that's the person. Or change you know the meat habits. Yeah. Well, either way, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, you gotta, you gotta, gotta put the work in. You gotta, gotta, you gotta, gotta exactly, you know what I'm saying? It's about the work. It ain't about just talking about doing it, you know what I'm saying? It's about actually yeah. doing it, you know what I'm saying? So, I think a lot of people want the end results, man, but they don't yeah. know what goes into getting those end results. So, Well, like you said, I mean, just talk about, like, how many vendors did you have to go through yeah. before mean, you, you were able to find somebody that was able to get you the quality and everything that you really wanted, you know what I'm saying? And the help, the piggyback on his question, I want to know how you came up with the color scheme. Well, being honest with you, man, like, color scheme-wise, it was really more or less of I thought of an idea where I just thought that I needed something that was going to insinuate the logo itself. Yeah. Because I knew the logo was drawn out a little bit. Yeah. You know, we talking about battle-tested, God-approved. So, mm-hmm. you know, I knew I wanted to abbreviate it, but I needed something that I knew was going to catch the eye. So that's why I came up with, like, that ash, because the, the type of... The type of uh, cross that is, it's called an Ash Sunday. Okay. Oh, uh, word. Yeah, but, and I wanted it to be red because, of course, I mean. God's blood, you know what I'm saying? Christ's blood, you know what I'm saying? Blood, but at the same time, too, people don't realize the color red is what catches your eye the most. Word. Like something that's red, word. it don't matter what it is. Word. You could well, be in something, well, something that goes by that's red, it usually catches well, your eye. I put it to like this here, like so, the insurance companies for cars. People don't even realize if you got a red car, exactly. you can have the same car as somebody else, same you're man, so you're going to pay more because yeah. your car is red. red. So, I mean, that was the, you know, yeah. kind of, so, you know, it was it was detailed as far as what I wanted, yeah. you know, and, and what I was doing. It, it, it's not just a, you know, oh, a thought up idea, yeah. I wanted to jump out there, but it's a lot of meaning behind it, man. And like I said, man, I'm going to definitely, 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 man, bring some more funky stuff. Like I said, I got some. Some summer stuff coming in, spring line, okay. you know, and just depending on how cold it may get, we might do a couple more, you know what I'm saying, sweatsuits or whatever. But like I said, man, I love the feedback, man, Word. and I definitely appreciate, you know what I mean, you bringing me on, bro, to promote. Definitely, man. Yeah, definitely. man. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, all definitely. Key. definitely. Like I said, man, I think you're doing really good things, you know what I'm saying, and everything like that. They are, the quality, like I said, is impeccable. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Appreciate it. Everything like appreciate that, it, bro. Uh, like I said, I think you stand the test with any other. Yeah, but yeah, man, hit me up. Promo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You well, know, where Facebook, can they get this? Facebook, Facebook they can get battle test if God approve. I mean, we on Instagram. Uh-huh. You know, yeah. um, website should be up here shortly. You know, what I mean, we had some technical difficulties, but we're gonna have that okay. to where you can go order on then. But you know, man, hey, I'm personal, man. You know, I ain't. It, you know. You can hit me up, inbox me on Facebook, and mm-hmm. you know I deliver it to you. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. You know what I mean? By any means necessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By any means necessary. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Man. Man. Appreciate. January of 2020. 
Let's do a quick little like recap of the last ten years from uh, twenty ten to twenty twenty. If you decade. can, if you can, last yeah, decade. last decade. If you can think of something, like we ain't got to go all in. But the more important thing I want to know is where you see rap going in the next, in the next ten decade. years. So when twenty thirty hit, where you think rap will be at? Let's talk about that real fast. Leo, you can start. I, like, what you think about the last ten years? The last ten years to me has been interesting, man. Just being honest with you, like. I mean, hey, look, man, I mean, I ain't going to sugarcoat it. I'm a little older cat, you know what I'm saying, and everything like that there. And it seemed to me like the last 10 years really, like, I guess transformed. Like, to me, rap was transforming at that time to what it is now, you know what I'm saying, within this past 10 years and everything like that. And, I mean, to me, it just me seems more like it's, I guess, catchy hooks with the beats it ain't a more it ain't as much about the lyrics like it used yeah. to be and everything like that not to say that there ain't artists out there that do have lyrics you know yeah. what i'm saying that aren't lyricists Word. you know what i'm saying and that Word. aren't speaking stuff you know nipsey you know what i'm saying he's Word. speaking messages in the songs you know uh -huh. what i'm saying and stuff like that and i respect that but uh, most of the songs now that are real popular to me you know aren't like that you know what i'm saying like it almost like just what rhymes with the next thing that might sound cool you know what i'm saying and then like all right i'm gonna say that yeah. I don't give a damn really what it means, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm just going to be saying that <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? And shit like that. Hopefully that shit give me enough sales. Hopefully that bring enough people out to my shows where I can make money off of it. Yeah. And I respect that, you know, because it's a hustle, you know what I'm saying? And it's a business. Yo, the thug out here wearing dresses and shit, I don't give a damn with that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all that shit to me, you know what I'm saying? That's like, that, that got a lot to do with it. Other shit, you other know, shit. Yeah, 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 you know, like, like, you know, it ain't. It's all entertainment. How they even just pushing that whole culture, you know? what I'm saying, but well, you know, the, trying to be the, accepting of that stuff. You know, the you thing know. I, I think about, man, is like we we think about these things going on with like today's hip hop, mm -hmm. homeway and dress or whatever. But if you ever think about it, music overall over the history has always been like a cultural shock. Yeah. I, I mean, I mean that's right. Really, it's so big. It's so big but culturally, if, man. If you, know, you think about, you know think about like the seventies when they started with the bell bottoms coming out of the sixties. I'm pretty sure these people were just like that too. Like, now what are you wearing? Yeah, these guys wearing these tight, <laughs> you know, bell bottoms. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Yeah. You're you right. know, you're right. I, I think. Yeah, when they, when they was dressing in the eighties, all that androgynous shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Y'all yeah. definitely speaking yeah. on the culture. Yeah, yeah. that's respected. But this is what I want to focus on, like, with those things y'all naming, they wasn't really a detriment to our culture. Yeah. When you got little dudes pulling yeah. up to the light, yeah. and they right. 17, they, they, they look like they about yeah. 26, 27, because yeah. yeah. they been popping pills for three years straight. Yeah. Like, that's something we got to tap into yeah. and, like, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean, yeah. try to figure well, out I ain't gonna lie, cause what's like, you causing know, that. Yeah, they might have been showing that shit, but nobody was really dressing like Prince in the 80s. You know what I mean? Who the fuck was dressing like Prince? No, man? nobody was dressing exactly, like Prince. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers was accepting of that shit. Prince, and I, honestly, I never looked at Prince as gay. I looked at Prince as an uh, entertainer. So by him being the level of entertainer he was, when I used to see him wearing them like feminine clothes yeah. or the blouses with the ruffles in the front or whatever, like I used to be thinking to myself, like, but this Prince, like... If anybody can pull any chick on earth, it's Prince. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, With the yeah. fact that he looked the way he looked, it was kind of like you said, one of them culture shocks. And I yeah. wonder if that had played a role because uh, he had such a high esteem for, for where he was at in R&B and yeah, black culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I just think, man, like, today's, today's age, bro, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't get it. But at the same time, I'm like... <laughs> You know, when I was coming up and my mom, yeah. you know, and the, the, the hairdos that I wanted to wear and the music I was listening to, she didn't get it either. Yeah, yeah, real. I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie, that's, that's a timeless, <laughs> that, that's, that's, a, that's a timeless tale. It's always gonna be like that. It's always gonna be, you're not into whatever your kids was into. They gonna, when they get older and they get, you know, their kids aren't gonna be what they're into, you know what I'm saying? Which is understandable, but... It just seemed like now, it it's not even just the fact that, like you said, the music to me, you know what I'm saying, I don't like as much, you know what I'm saying, yeah, or whatnot, yeah. but it's just like, God, dog, do y'all really have to take it this far? Mm -hmm. Y'all trying to, y'all really, really trying to make this dress shit cool. Yeah. It ain't cool to wear no dress. I mean, I'm just being honest. It's with like you, they you know do it. I ain't gonna say it's almost like that Prince thing in the yeah. sense that they do it for a certain reason, but now the reason is attention. 
Like, yeah, I ain't gonna yeah, lie, yeah. I ain't never seen nothing with Young Thug just walking around Atlanta with a dress on. Yeah. But I have seen him posted on with a dress on sales. just straight for Instagram. Because he knows yeah. he's gonna go viral. And then after 24 hours of going viral, he's gonna drop a mixtape or an album. You well, know what I mean? So it's like, well, I, I can understand, understand that, man. I mean, my whole thing is, it, but. you want to stay current. I do know that. Because like you said, man, if you could make it where it's 15 minutes of fame for yourself, and then you can flame the fuck out, mm -hmm. or you can constantly <laughs> stay current. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Regardless yeah. of how that is, whether yeah. or not you dropping an album, Word. you in a commercial, a movie, you know what I'm saying, whatever, yeah. or you yeah. out here wearing dresses, you know what I'm saying? Or well, not however it is, you know what I'm saying? Draw that attention to yourself, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I can understand that. I ain't about to be selling out like that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? If that's going to be what it takes. To get there. Yeah, yeah, to get there, you know what I'm saying? But hey, look, if you want to do it, more power to you, you know what I'm but saying? But I mean, so you saying the next 10 years, you thinking, I mean, I want to know what you thinking rap is going to be Man, or yeah. hip hop is going to be in the next 10 years. Like, this do you, think, do you yeah. think it's going to be saturated with what they call mumble rapping? Or do you think, it's, do you think like lyrics and stuff are going to come back? Because they always say stuff come back. It recycles. Yeah. In, in my perspective, bank, man, I think uh, when I look at it, what's actually popping right now, right? Mm -hmm. I look at the baby and the baby got like a weird uh way of um the baby got a weird way of delivering his lyrics, but at the mm -hmm. same time and when you listen to his lyrics, I mm -hmm. feel like he got talent. Yeah. When I listen to somebody like Blueface, mm -hmm. I can't get into his music because I'm one of them cats who grew up on Dudes that can actually ride a beat yeah. and like suck yeah. you in because they got a flow that match with beat. They mm -hmm. know. It, he literally sound yeah. like Blueface don't care what the beat is. What the beat is. <laughs> I'm going to rap like this. Uh, or, or somebody like, yo, I got this fine beat and you spit that hard verse like three days ago. <laughs> I put them together and make yeah. this. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like, I don't really I don't really know. But when I say, I, I got to take a look, a step back and we got to, Big up the cats who gave us this, like, um, a planet that entrepreneurial seed. When I'm saying that, I'm talking about the Jay Princes. I'm talking about the, yeah. uh, the Master P's. I'm talking about the, uh, the Jay G's and the Russell Simmons. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not even really Russell Simmons because he wasn't in this decade. But I'm talking about, like, like, Jay had the option to submit all his music to the, uh, Apple. Or all his music to, um... Spotify, but instead he seen where the game was going, mm -hmm. purchased the streaming service, let it marinate for a second, mm -hmm. then put all his music on it, and now title is right up there with oh, the Spotify yeah, yeah, and the yeah, Apple. Yeah, yeah. He knew what he was so doing it's now. just little stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I sit back and watch, and I, I take note of the business sense that these dudes got. And I feel like that's also something that's um, inadvertently trickling down to our culture. You an entrepreneur, I'm an entrepreneur, he an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And by them doing stuff like that in our in our time when we was influential, it made us think we want to own a business. Yeah. Compared to now, you 16, 17 years old and you listen to certain rappers. All you hearing is pop pill, snort line, stick a molly in your ass. That's true. And, <laughs> yeah. and now, yeah. now your mindset is completely different yeah. than where... It could have been. Yeah. So yeah. on one on one spectrum I feel like rap, you know what I mean, is still progressing, but on the other side I feel like we gotta be real weary because it ain't necessarily our culture as much as it used to be. Yeah. Well see what I think about rap yeah. is me personally, man. I think rap done got so big that rap has branches of it. Word. You know what I'm I saying? It's, it's different branches of rap now. You know what well, before it was just all on together. Yeah, it's just rap. Like yeah. rock or some shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying, or what, like country, you know what I'm saying, or whatnot. But now, man, rap is so big, culturally, and it took over so much, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Me, personally, I got so disillusioned with American rap that, man, honestly, I actually fell into liking UK rap. And I ain't gonna lie, let me start right there, because this is one of the reasons why I asked this man to be on the show. He like the only American dude I know <laughs> riding around in his car <laughs> listening to UK rap, but he go to think. It would have happened last summer. We used to ride <laughs> to the gym together. You know what I mean? I ain't really. You ain't got no touch. Don't say so of another man radio. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I'm letting him beat his UK rap. Yeah. 
the first couple times, I was like, Leo, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Sock, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to hear this shit. But then at the same time, you start hearing this one or two songs that, you know what I mean, kind of turned into 10, 12. That's now, like, I can tell you one of my favorite UK rappers is Red Street, too. Yeah, um, yeah, I yeah. like Avalino, you yeah, know what I mean? And he's going to think with UK rap, too. I just want to touch on this real fast. Um, it's branches to that. That's real. And you showed me that. Yeah, like, yeah, I, I would have yeah, thought yeah. all of them was the same way, but you nah, got certain cats nah. that sound like they from Atlanta. Yeah, you know what I mean. It sound oh, yeah, like they yeah, just yeah. on that trap shit, but then yeah. you got other dudes that like Nas or Jay, like they really want to give you the lyrics. Well, see, that's you know another. I mean? But see, that's why I say, man. Like I look at like this past ten years, this past decade. You know what I'm saying? I look at that as it was transformative to me. You know what I'm saying? So that in itself, you know what I'm saying, was real, real. Why was it transformative though? Just because. All right, for one thing, the internet is so so big now to where like I felt like all right. So you've right. seen all the movies and stuff. Well, like you know. You might see somebody from Europe or something like that, right. and it was 1999. They playing some song from 1985, thinking that shit just dropped last year, you know what I'm saying, or some shit, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that, man, what the hell you listening to and shit? But they didn't have all the internet and everything. Now everything that got caught up, you know what I'm saying, because the, this past 10 years, the internet, and boom, you know what I'm saying? Before that past 10 years, some people was on the internet, but it wasn't as big, you know what I'm saying? Now it's just like, it's everywhere. If yeah. you're not on the internet and you're a yeah, business, you're, much, yeah, you're, dead. Yeah, you're dead. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're dead. You know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. You can't survive. So I felt like that allowed like UK rap to catch up. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever to the point where I felt like, you know, before y'all probably was so far behind because they, they used to call it grime rap. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it was their own culture. It was mixed with, you know, it's a lot of Jamaican people and a lot of African people. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That are in, you know what I'm saying, in, in the UK and everything, in London and whatnot. So, you know what I'm saying, I felt like they had took that music culturally with the rap that they heard and they made a rap called Grime Rap. Word. You know what I'm saying, and it was more like a club kind of, you know what I'm saying, beat and everything like that there. But it wasn't until like one of the main artists named Giggs and everything started actually like, nah man, like, we do shit and we live on the streets too. You know, we poor out here, you know what I'm saying, yeah. we be hustling and we do all this other shit too. Yeah. Let us rap about that shit because I see they doing that in the United States. You know what I'm saying? And then it, with the internet, it allowed everything to like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Everything, you know what I'm saying? Nah, man, I'm being honest with you, man. Like, I'm really impressed. That's why I really, really caught on to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When I was listening to it, I was like, damn, I, like, I can honestly they say nice. Real, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they nice. You know what I'm yeah. saying? If you never checked out Rich 3 2 Freestyles, you can check out Daily Duppy. You yeah, can check yeah, out yeah. Um, Fire in the Booth. Fire in the Booth. <clears throat> That's the ones. If you listen to Rich 3 2 and you don't think this man can rap, now hold on, let me put this disclaimer out there. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be able to get over the accent. They are speaking English. Yeah, 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 yeah. You That's can't real. get That's over the accent. If you're from New York and you can listen to somebody from Louisiana or vice versa, Blum. it's the same thing because Blum. at the end of the day, it's just regular, not, rather or not the person behind the mic got talent. And when I listen to certain people, but they, they definitely got talent. So yeah. I want yeah, now one thing I, I will, will say, say the, 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 obviously it's the accents, you know what I'm saying? Because actually I tried to put my man Banks on a few times. And like I said, he was digging a few people. But then like mm -hmm. he said, the reason he felt like, I don't know if it'll ever catch on over here in the United States is because I can't get over the accents per se. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I like I said, I was listening to the lyrics, to the beats and everything like that. And I'm just like, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, they going hard, you know what I'm saying? They really, really going hard. Respect. And they speaking English, and like I said, if I can listen to a guy from New York, you know what I'm saying, and shit, us being South Carolina, you know what I'm saying, I can listen to a California rapper, Word. you know what I'm saying, or whatnot, and I'm like, I can get over the accent, because I'm being honest with you, some of them California rappers got some weird-ass accents. Word. They yeah. almost sound kind of... Why you, you know what I'm saying? What you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No, what you know what I'm saying? They they got a proper how they kind of sound. They got a different. They got a different sound to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you respect it though. I honestly think it's more what you looking for. Cause I mean, people don't always listen to hip hop as like you know lyrics. Lyrics, yeah. You know, like you know, some people just want to hear the beat. You know, you right, and, and I mean, from what I understand, like when it comes to like females, females only really want to listen to the beat. And the hook, yeah, yeah, all the the hook, hook, yeah. And, and this is not me throwing no shade towards no females. Nah, nah, nah. You nah, know, nah. I'm just saying, but like most females that it's I, what they feeling. It's just they, like if it got a nice beat, beat with a hook, with a good yeah. hook to it, it gotta so, have a good hook. So it gotta I just be feel, catchy. You know I just feel like, man, we kind of get into these things of like, you know, 
what's good music, what's not good music, or whatever the case may be. I just really think it's about what you look for, what, you know, what you feel. Well, I feel what you're saying. I you can't know? necessarily say that what this man over here is liking is bad music because I'm not feeling it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. just I'm not feeling it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You feeling it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's good to you. And like I said, my whole thing is, man, it's, it's so many people and so many different ideas and so much... Man, bro, who's the hell to tell me what the hell I'm supposed to like? Yeah. So don't tell me just because this is what's popular out here, you know what I'm saying? It's what everybody else listening to. This is what the radio blasting in my damn ear. I'm supposed to listen to that shit. I'm straight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it. That is right. what it, it is, is. You know what, what I'm saying? And, and stuff and like that. Honestly, you know? the shift within the last decade, I yeah. feel like, is one of the reasons why you went to UK rap. Because yeah. I remember me and you had a conversation about, bro, I be trying to listen to like rap music now. This might have been three, four years ago. Yeah. You were yeah. like, bro, I can't really find nothing I want to get into. Yeah. Like, this yeah. shit ain't really that's popular what, like how it was when we that, was coming that's, up. That's so, exactly. And like, then, I don't really rap reminded me more of... Now don't get it wrong, it reminded me more of the music that I used to listen to, mm -hmm. you know, like the Mob Deeps and the motherfucking, the, uh, the damn on uh, the Locks, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. Biggie, yeah. Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying, Nas and all that, where it was like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying, did you hear what they said? Let me rewind this because I gotta hear what the hell they said. I listen to the guys, now. Nah, I ain't gonna lie to you, most of them, you, ain't, you might wanna rewind it too. What the hell did they say? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and shit like that. They over like, man, what did they say? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, what yeah. the fuck? You know what I'm saying? saying? And that's what you were saying about the the um the the mumble rap versus the niggas who spitting real lyrics. Mm -hmm. We had a conversation like a couple of days ago where you were saying like you think the mumble rap gonna take off. And I was like, yeah, you're right. But it's one nigga who I know still got, like, hard-ass lyrics over yeah. here in America. But if y'all boys ain't never checked out YBN Corday, to me, Dude, mindset is way beyond his age, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And as, as somebody yeah. who wrote rhymes at one point, you know what I mean? I really feel like he got what, what, it can, uh, what can, he can usher in a whole new era of solid yeah. lyrics yeah. for these yeah. young yeah. boys. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel Yeah, true. yeah, you know right? Because yeah. right now, that, that snort of line, yeah, yeah. I feel... <laughs> I mean, so which being honest with you, not a line. Like, that yeah, one, yeah. Don't even seem like see that. To see, that's the music I'm not really liking. But being honest with you, like, don't get it wrong, like the baby and stuff like that. Man, I actually like some of the baby shit. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I like him. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To me, I feel like he got his own style. Yeah. I, I think he's feel like innovative. He's innovative, and, innovative. innovative. and I feel yeah. like he's an entertainer. He's an entertainer, and it depends on what song he's doing. I've heard different songs he's done. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so you actually do got some lyrical content and you got yeah. something that you're trying to say. Trying to it say. ain't all about just like, yeah. I'm just saying what everybody want to hear and so I, I can make this money. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like I, that. So I respect that. that you know what I'm saying? I like that the fact the baby is uh, gangster, but not gangster. Like, he done did what he needed to do outside the booth. I mean, everybody know the Walmart yeah. situation. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, he don't give you that in his videos. No. He's I mean, giving you like that entertainer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, you know how yeah, I go? Yeah. Like, hey, <laughs> ain't nobody really knocking with me. No, no, no. I don't like going up. Yeah, and as true. a young dude, I commend him again because, <laughs> like you said, the internet everywhere. And he know, he he never figured out how to like corral that thing to where I'm going to do this and people going to check me out. I know. Mm -hmm. If I do this, I know people going to check me out because I know. Yeah. And then that shit really shows. So that's one of the things I feel like is good about. Yeah, yeah, man. He, I, I think he's one of the, um, you know, the guys that probably has the potential to stay around just because, like, like I said, like, he's just innovative all the way around. You know what I mean? Even just his videos. Mm -hmm. like, Word. You know, his videos real innovative. So I, I think he's a young cat that'll stay he around. He put me in the mind of ludicrous. Not, not yeah, yeah, wise, but his videos, the way they come across, they yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, it's like the chain with the music yeah, hanging yeah, off of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so he's like, I want to see it over the top. You know what I mean? I want to see it again. I don't want to just see it again because of broad bouncing up big ass. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, nah, man, I like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah hold yeah, up, man. Yeah. That shit was funny. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like that shit or something. Man, he thought about that shit. Yeah, but you know, as far as hip hop, man, like, I mean, I don't, when I'm riding more or less, I'm normally just listening to. You know, the old school, mm -hmm. UGK, you know, I mean, that's just kind of pretty much where I, I'm, I'm stuck at. Don't get me wrong, like, I do like a lot of, some of the stuff that the guys put out now, yeah. but it, that's more of a 
be whatever. I just respect it for what it's for. You know, okay. I would rather put UGK in or, you know, 8-Ball, MJG. Well, you know, I, I, I ain't like gonna lie to you, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Like, I like rap with lyrical content and all that and stuff like that, Dave. But I ain't gonna lie to you. I do mostly listen to gangster rap. When I'm right, you know what I'm saying? I mostly listen to gangster rap. In London, UK, they call it road rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stuff like that there. But I want somebody that got a flow to me where like, okay, you you okay, you got some words you yeah. putting together. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I like what you're saying, you know what I'm saying? Everything like that then. Plus, also respect that like, if you actually talking about that shit, I want to feel like, bro, you done that shit to an extent. I ain't, you ain't got to have been Scarface or Neil <laughs> Brown out here, you know what I'm saying? But I want to feel like, okay, that man was in the street. You can give me a story. Yeah, yeah man, like, okay, I respect that because you actually did that. You hustled, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and shit like that. Then you done that. I don't even mean on something like I done sold a couple dime bags here. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, nah, man. I mean, but do you think, like, you you have to respect the uh, a rapper if he, you know, Giving you something that he he not about or was about. Like, if he you know, rapping that he did it, but I I, 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 mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. Now don't get it wrong. I know it's a business, and I already know to an extent a lot of motherfuckers look at it like acting. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but you don't. I'm just giving that. you a song. I'm just giving you a song, man. So fuck round and down. Just take it as it is. You know what I'm saying or whatever and yeah. shit like that. Yeah. I don't have to have lived that shit. But my whole thing is, I feel like because it's so cultural. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, you know, it's a respect thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what well, you know, like, cause it's almost kind of like a kid finding out Santa Claus ain't real. Yeah, you disappointed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, hey, they, 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 like you rapping that hard about it. You rapping that hard about it. And you was that fake about it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, hey, hey, man, like, all right, man, keep on, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? It sound, it sound all right, you know what I'm saying, and stuff. You know, it sound all right, but it's just you a little disappointed, you know what I'm saying, and stuff okay. like that. Day. So, I mean, don't get it wrong. I mean, like I said, I ain't necessarily saying you had to be the biggest motherfucker <laughs> on the East Coast, you know what I'm saying, to be rapping about that shit. But nah, man, at least be like, no, nah, man. Yeah, no, I, I lived that life, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm trying to live this life. But let me tell you about how I was living, you know what I'm saying, or whatnot. You know what I'm well, saying? I don't know, man. I think my, my, my style is just, and you know, I, I just take it for what it's for, bro. Like, if somebody gave me a picture, it's, a, it's entertainment to a certain extent. I know it's a cultural thing behind it. I yeah, understand yeah, yeah. that degree of it, but, yeah. you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, it's see, like a movie sometimes. And, and not everybody's into it, you know, yeah. like, like you said, you got your hip-hop, you know, enthusiasts as far as Jay-Z's and, you know, those yeah. people that it's just like, no, man, it's just about lyrics. Like, don't be with no funny, you know, gimmicks, you know, that's what it's about. But then you do also got the other side of it where it's just like, it's about just having that's, fun. That's right you know? at yeah. this point right now, yeah. too, because um, yeah. I can honestly say none of the dudes I listen to is all no gimmicky shit. But they not necessarily on no super lyrical shit. Yeah. But they give you that real. Like for instance, uh, if I had to tell you who I listen to the most right now is Nipsey Hussle. After okay. Nipsey Hussle is Starlito. After Starlito is uh, Chopper Man Dale, new dude that rap with Starlito. I like him just like I like uh, Big Crit. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. Yeah. It's, I, it's, I, I, I mess with Crit. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was gonna say. You yeah. got if you know rap, there are people placed in hip hop that's like a bridge mm -hmm. between the old school and the new school. Yeah. And they know how to, you know what I mean, balance on that gate real well and mm -hmm. give you a little bit of both. Yeah. So them, them kind of like the cats I like to listen to because I ain't all the way in with that new shit, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I don't want to just be stuck on old shit. But don't I don't like a new artist throwing away, you know what I'm saying? So I can't necessarily say that you ain't on the new shit because like Trapper Man Dale, Trapper Man Dale, Dale been out. Trapper Man Dale. Exactly, Mundo. So my whole thing is, Crick 10 years deep. Yeah, Crick, not Crick a vet. You know, Crick a vet. You know what I'm saying? Everything like that. But see, that's my whole thing. Actually, it's funny that you say that. He the first man that put me on the Crick. You know what I'm saying? Way back when everybody was, man, that man sound like Pimp C. You know what I'm saying? He's not too much like Pimp C. Like, this man, ah, man, listen to him. Like, you know what I'm saying? The man really, really, like, giving it to you. You know what I'm saying? Or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay. Then the man, like, oh, he do his own beats and whatnot and all that stuff. Like, wow. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna leave J. Cole out. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Nah, it's rappers out there. Yeah, it's rappers out there. It's just rather not, like you said, 
hip hop done got so big to where it's got branches. So if you want to be that pill popping in the club type on a Sunday morning, yeah, just cuz, then that's you. But if you want to be the type to get out here to go out and grind, it's like you can pick an artist for that soundtrack. And I want to implore y'all to think about what type of mental filter you have on your brain when you're listening mm -hmm. to map, listening to rap. Because like he said, these same dudes, like let's take a Takashi 69. No telling, I never listened to any Takashi 69 songs, but there's no telling what type of gangster stuff he was trying to portray or mm. give across to these yeah. kids that was listening to him in his raps and now he's sitting on the stand snitching because you ain't about that life. Yeah. And see what these rappers do is they want to get the bag for their family. They want to get the bag for, you know what I mean, the, the make sure their well-being is good. Yeah, they just want the bag, you know what I'm But saying? at the same Shit. time, they're not caring about what type of degradation yeah. they're doing to the culture. Yeah. How are you tearing down the culture? When this little 13, 14 year old finally go out with his cousin and they got a chance to pop pills for the first time That's because he been listening to that music, yeah. I got a feeling he going to go that route. So with this podcast in particular, we want to take um, the the layer, the, the the lyrics away, the beat away, yeah. and actually get to what type of message you getting from these artists. What type of message are you getting from, these mu from this music that you're listening to? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's basically. Well see, when you started one thing, so I remember you kinda was, you know, mentioning the artists that you be riding and listening to. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like what artists do you listen to when you young? Know, I mean, like I said, more, more, more or less of uh, like it's more of the older school with me, man. Um yeah, well alright, so alright, obviously like I said, the older school, but like far as Current, school. anything current. I mean, I mean current, even if, like I said, like I said, like Chris, yeah, you know, he been right, you know, for yeah. a while, but he's current still. Yeah, he's you know still like Chris. I keep a healthy thing of Chris. You know, I was um, like I said, I know you say you listen to the baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, I listen to the baby. Well, you any know, other current artists that you like? You know, listen. I mean, to that anything? I just would listen to, not necessarily. And see, let let me tell. You, I'm more of a, uh, you know, if I if I if it's not somebody that I just really mess with the long way like that, yeah. like normally. I'm a singles type of guy. Mm -hmm. You know what okay, I mean? Like a song out. or something that you, know you kind of like. So it might be a Travis Scott single that came out that I just actually like. I just but I've yeah, never yeah. like went and dove into a Travis Scott's album or Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I you see what I'm saying? I, I see like, what you're saying. I see so what you're that's, saying. that's that's mostly like with me, man. It's mostly like, okay, if I catch something something out there that's pretty nice, so I just kind of keep it in the, the, you know, keep it in the rotation with all the old school. Yeah. And, you know, Heavy Creek, of course, you know, Anything Creek dropping, I'm B. Well, see, I, yeah. I, I, I guess, <laughs> and I guess that's another reason why I kind of fell into the UK rap is the fact that I kind of got stuck. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was just riding to nothing but old stuff. Mm -hmm. I was riding to, like, freaking down, down a UGK, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Bob Deep or yeah. something, you know what I'm saying? Some Nas or something, damn, um, fuck running down, damn, I'm trying to think old boy's name from damn, uh, Soldier Slim. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah, and stuff yeah, like that, you know what I'm right. saying, but, and it was just kind of like, damn, I've been riding to these songs for a long yeah. ass time, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> you know, and it was just kind of like, it was actually funny, because I started watching this show on Netflix called Top Boy, you know what I'm saying, and it's funny now, I'm shouting it out, you know what I'm saying, because Drake ended up taking over the show, uh -huh, you know right. what I'm saying, buying the rights to the show, and worked out a deal with Netflix, now they got a new season of the show, now, if you happen to look it up, if you just look up Top Boy, it's just going to be the new season. Now, if you get on there, you want to see the old season, it's called Top Boy. It's called the, uh, I forgot the name of their apartment complex. It's called... I'll tell you like this is, if you're going to take the time to go to Netflix and look up Top Boy, no. type it in and you're going to see two uh, tiles with the pictures. Right. One, one of them, the dudes look old. One of them, the dudes look young. <laughs> Click on the one where the dudes look young first. That's real. And watch That's that real. one. And then go to the new one that just recently came out. And if you one of those people, like, I'm not saying you listening to this podcast and all of a sudden you about to go check out UK Rap. That's real. But, if you just like, man, what these boys talking about? Man, check out Top Boy, man, and you will get a, a thorough understanding of, of how they live. Of how they live it. Yeah, and exactly. then when you finally do check out the UK rap, you can kind of get a mindset, uh, understanding, like, oh, this is yeah, what you rap about. Comes. This how you coming from. That's kind of how I got onto it. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I said, it was a song. Actually, Giggs was performing on one of the episodes while they were in the club. Don't worry. And so I happened to look that up. Like I kind of like this song. Let me check it out. I went on yeah, YouTube. Yeah. 
then it just opened up everything, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that, and I gradually, gradually started, like, finding other artists and stuff, <clears throat> like, you know, Blade Brown, Snap Capone, Corleone, you know what I'm saying, damn, Scrap, C-Biz, you know what I'm saying, like I said, uh, gigs, freaking nines, you know what I'm saying, yeah, and everything yeah, like that. Go in. Exactly. And, you know what I'm go in, and, and yeah. then, like I said, with more like when I don't want to listen to the road rap, I used to start finding other artists like Avalino, like Rex 32, you know what I'm saying, like Dave and everything, you know what I'm saying, the stuff who actually is in Top Boy, you know what I'm yeah. saying. Word. Oh, yeah, that is right. Exactly, you know what I'm saying. Kano, who's another rapper that's in Top Boy, you know what I'm saying. Now, his style is a little bit, you know, you know, hit or miss with me and everything like that there, but I respect it, you know, because he's still Word. current, you know what I'm saying. He's been current since Top Boy came out before, you know what I'm saying, and whatnot. So, like I said, man, to me, you know what I'm saying, it just, you know how it is when you find like a new hobby or something new, you know what I'm saying, and whatnot, and then you just delve into it, man. It's intriguing. Exactly, it's really intriguing, so it really, really, really intrigued me, man, yeah. so it's just like, nah, and that kind of caught me, and so I'm just kind of growing with it, you know what I'm saying, finding new That's artists right. out here, I like seeing what these older artists that I've been listening to for the past few years, what they doing and stuff like that, yeah, and yeah. how they still growing in the game. So we gonna leave it right here on the UK rap, man. I just wanted to yeah. touch on that real fast. Yeah. I'm glad you ushered that in, cause um, I think that's something. As a podcast, I'm I'm definitely gonna have him on so he can speak on it because I feel like I want this podcast to be a bridge between the two cultures, just yeah. for the simple fact yeah. that I feel like we spitting the same shit. It's just they got an accent and we don't. All right, boom. So, man, we about to close this thing out real fast, man. I want to tell everybody thank you, man. Uh, the love and the support I've been getting from Facebook has been amazing. Yeah. Um, right. This ain't nothing I thought about overnight. I've been plotting and planning on this for about, um, I'm going to say at least August. You know what I mean? Just trying to meticulously get everything in line for me to come out and, and feel good about what I'm bringing to the table. Yep. And the crazy part was, um, you know the situation where I thought I was trying to work with somebody else on the podcast. Mm -hmm. I actually looked up online. My partner put me on game. I was talking to him about tuning in. And he was like, bro, you always had the platform. Remember you did that first interview in 2014? I was like, word. And he was like, bro, ain't too many of your partners going to be able to tell you this. But just go ahead and go to YouTube and look for your interview where you interviewed a dude from Atlanta in 2014. Yeah. And I was like, damn, I went on there, checked it out. It ain't got no views or nothing. But it's just a fact, like, the seed was planted. So I want to give a shout out to that boy Verse the Vet, you know what I mean? Because he the one who told me, like, even back then, bro, you need to be in front of the camera. So yeah, yeah. we going to try to um, make this thing keep going. Sock, man, break bread with these boys, man. Let them know what it is. Shit, man, I just let y'all know like this here, man. I'm just going to spit from my heart and everything, man. I appreciate y'all, you know what I'm saying, giving me a platform to sit back and down, come on here, you know what I'm saying, and talk, you know what I'm saying, or whatnot. Hey, look, I'm just, hey, look, I'm going to be who I'm going to be, you know what I'm saying, and you can either like what I say or not like what I say. I respect it either way, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that there. I hope, you know what I'm saying, we bring, <laughs> I, I hope we bring on more people and more guests, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying, like my man Marcus over here, you know what I'm saying, I appreciate you, man. Stuff like that, they man, bro, you know what I'm saying. I know the clothing line gonna do well, you know what I'm saying. No, stuff like that, 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 know that, you know what I'm saying. I want you, you know, you can say a few closing words and whatnot. Yeah, man, so. I just definitely appreciate y'all, man, giving me yeah. time to come on, man. Like I said, it's 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 more like it, it's a, it's a blessing to be able to come on and actually promote the clothing line, but more than more important than promote, man, just chopping it up. Yes, you sir. You know what I mean? Yes, like sir. chopping it up. Yes, sir. Good things going on. The sweet, man. I, I, I'm, I'm proud. Super proud of y'all, man. Like, true. so I'm hoping it's so. You know, like I always say, man. Whatever we can do, man, to help. You know, always, always get at me. Definitely, bro. You know, oh, what sir, like bro, I said, sir. I definitely appreciate y'all, man. Battle yes, tested. Sir. God approved. If yeah. you're watching yeah. this, if you watching this podcast right now, yeah. Yeah. guess what? You. Yeah. Are battle tested yeah, and God yeah, approved. Like yeah, I don't know why you ain't jumping on the on the website yeah, right yeah, now. Man. Facebook, Facebook, IG, IG man. battle tested, Facebook, God approved, and uh, God approved. Yeah, and I mean, also at Facebook. The, uh, matter of fact, I got a, a fan page too on Facebook. Word. Um, and like I said, just be on the lookout because my website is coming. Um, currently getting that built. It was a delay yeah, yeah. a little bit, but yeah, yeah. you know, like I said, man, get at me, inbox me, whatever. You know, man, I deliver them to you, like I said yes, earlier. Sir, yes, Don't sir. forget yeah, about yes. uh, my dog right here, too, poor boy, man. Hey, yeah, yeah. my partner, bro. He doing big things out of Camden, bro. He got mm -hmm. his own clothing line, too. I wake, I bake. Hashtag, I wake, I bake. Okay. You can search that on any 
social media website. Yeah. yeah also, he yeah. got his own uh, website where you can go straight to IWakeUpBake.com yeah. and purchase one of these shirts. He got okay. different colors. Fire. Yeah. And I ain't gonna lie to you. Go support, he, he man. The first. Go support. My dog is the first one I know that got his own shoes, bro. My man, legit. You can go to his website and you can order shoes, man. You, Shit, check out his bro. Facebook page. You can bro, order his that's shoes. Right, bro. Bro. That is a whole nother level in the game. So yes, sir, salute bro. to him for just being able to diversify his brand on on, on so many different levels. Yeah, man. That's and what's um, up. hey, twenty twenty man, twenty twenty vision. That's that's, Get it, that's man. what we trying to do, yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Whatever it takes. Battle tested, got approved. Boy, your boy, y'all a dollar sop, Marky Banks. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Get inspired, baby. Um, I think that shit might have came out fire, fellas.